Maracaibo was once the wealthy oil capital of Venezuela. Today, it is a city with no cash, in a country that has recalled half of the money supply, unexpectedly. People scrambled to return the highest denomination note, 100 bolivars, following presidential orders. But the central bank could not handle the crowds. Waving their now worthless bills in the air, they shouted, we want change. The country faces one of the highest inflation rates on the planet. So President Nicolás Maduro announced higher denomination bills will replace the recalled hundreds. The problem is, nobody knows when these will start circulating. I have been here since four in the afternoon yesterday and have not had lunch or breakfast because of these darn bills that no one wants anywhere. Nobody wants to take this money. I went to buy a chicken and I couldn't because I didn't have any other bills to buy it. Maduro said he ordered the borders closed to prevent the bills from exiting the country to Colombia, where, according to him, they are being stockpiled by gangs. In Cúcuta, on the Colombian side of the border, Yolanda Olarte runs an exchange house. She says no one wants to accumulate a currency that is practically worthless. This took us by surprise and we don't want to change the currency. Imagine if tomorrow they suddenly decided they will stop receiving other notes. We need stability and respect for our jobs as exchange bureaus. This affects us and commerce in general. In most countries, if I told you I had all this money, you would probably think I'm a very rich person, but not in Venezuela. All these bills that you see right here, all of them, are only $120. Yolanda will lose most of this money, as the 100 Bolivar notes can only be refunded in Venezuela. The deadline for that is today, but there's no way to cross. Normally, 50,000 people cross to Colombia each day to buy medicine, food and essential goods. Now, only exceptional cases are being allowed in, like this ambulance transporting a man with heart problems. Nobody knows if and when the crossings between Venezuela and its neighbors will open again. Most people are too busy trying to stay afloat. Monica Villamizar, Al Jazeera, on the Colombia-Venezuela border.